Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me this morning and they want to make, they'd seen this somewhere and it was actually cut out of acrylic and it was engraved and cut out of acrylic. You could do it acrylic or wood, but it is a, for your keychain, you know, to give away for a gift or sell them or however you want to use them. So I'm going to, instead of trying to explain it to him over email, it's easier for me to make a video. So I just brought in the name Ryan with a another sh shabby font I found that looks pretty good for this case. So I've got it clicked. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to left click no fill. I'm going to go down to the bottom and right click fill or like right, right click hairline outline. Now, as you can see, I've got it all selected, but my weld, my weld tools aren't up. So you need to go to object, convert to curves, select it again, objects, break curve apart. Now, if you weld this right now and see now our weld windows comes up, you lose the center part of the, of the letters. Now there's a couple of ways to do this, but I've found it's just as easy to do it this way. I'm going to set my nudge factor on three inches just to get stuff out of the way. And you'll see in just a second why. So now I'm going to grab those three center parts, holding down the shift key and grab the second one, hold down the shift key and grab the third one. So now I've got them away. I moved them two times up. Now, as you can see, as your weld opens, so you've got it welded, it'll stay together. It'll look good. Now you could bring these back, but we're still going to do a little bit of work on it. So we can bring them back later at any time. Now I'm going to go to effects contour and I just got it already set up. I'm, I tried a half inch. It looked too much, but I'm going to go 0.4 of an inch one time to the outside, hit apply. And you can see it worked. Oh, it worked pretty good already. Go to object, break contour apart. I don't like these sharp edges, especially if you're going to put it in your pocket or have them put it in your pocket, their pocket. So just encompass these two, lasso them, turn them into curves. Then you could take this about the center and there'll be a curve. You could actually take this away and take a couple more of these away. You could bring that down a little bit and that looks pretty good. But now what we need to do, we need to turn this to a red hairline. I had it draw in black because of the fact that I wanted to be able to see my contour. And matter of fact, my, I'm going to change my contour to red hairline right now, or my change my drawing. Now we need to put a, an eyelet or whatever you want to call it to put the chain through and, and don't use my measurements because I'm not doing this for real, but I would take one about that size. Then you just take your virtual segment delete key up here, delete that line, delete that line, delete that line and delete that line. Then just take a little, another little circle. That's about a third of an inch, a little less. That might be a little bit big. But you can play around with this for different, I don't know what kind of, if he's going to use a cable or, or whatever. So you've got that done. Now what you need to do is bring your pieces back. So encompass them all and hit your arrow key down twice. You've got it done. Now they're in there, but we want we don't want to leave it like this. Because if you cut this out, it'll cut that out too. Take your smart fill tool and fill in the Ryan. Move it up out of the way. Then take your Ryan and delete it and delete these cuts. You could actually probably leave these three cuts and it wouldn't look bad, but then take your Ryan and put it back and you're done. That's why I like using the offset, you know, the nudge deficit and set it high because I don't care where you put this thing. You can always put it back where it belongs. You know, I don't care what you do. You get right back to where you belong. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.